Off to Ascot now for the Amblin 1965 chase. Two more three furlongs. We're an odd distance for this one. Grade two and the Liam Crescent for Derek Hinton. Court Brook, John Morgan, Emotional, Joshua Sutherland, Gariba, Martin Leadham, Nita Tonic, Craig Beckwith, Templar Knight, Daniel French, Eamon Oatway, James Shane, Nutty Bon for Craig Beckwith and San Pedro Erna for Vinnie Gerrard. A field of nine. All in and away. Head towards the first. And they get over it. I'm pretty sure this I mean, chases two more than five furlongs, really. But anyway, they get to the second. And they're all safely over that one. But I might be wrong. They get over the next one. A mistake at the back by Gariba. But it's Templar Knight who's got the lead. The Ascot Hurdle, which is coming up tomorrow, is over two miles and three. And there's a novice. Chase over two miles and three as well. I'm pretty sure the Amblin's 2 5. Maybe 2 4. Anyway, could have changed it over the last few years, I suppose. But anyway, Templar Knight is the leader. From Anderlea Crescent in second. That could, I suppose. Well, no, it couldn't because the Ascot Chase is still 2 miles 5, isn't it? So they haven't got rid of the 2 miles 5 start. And Ascot, I'm waffling already. Well, already it's the final race of what has been a long day today. Templar Knot is in the lead. Getting into the fifth. And then we'll safely air it. Right, Court Brook and San Pedro and then Gariba on the inside is fourth. With Nutty Bon on the outside and the Crescent's got the rail. Alongside that one is Emotional and the back two are Nita Tonic and Eman Oatway. So just Craig Beckwith with the two in this. As they pass the winning post then, complete circuit ahead of them. And Templar Knight is in the lead. Gariba in second, San Pedro Werner and Court Brook together. With Andalie M. Crescent on the inside, Nutty Bun, one of the widest on the track, just tucked in behind them, is emotional. And then the back two, Nita Tonic, and finally, James Shea's Eman Oatway. Into the next one they go. A mistake at the back there by Eman Oatway, but Templar Knight jumped it nicely in the lead. Gariba over it well in second, and then San Pedro in a third. Pace just begins to quicken a little bit now as they take in the next one. And Templar Knight landed in front. Gariba three parts of a length down in second, and San Pedro Werner is about three lengths away in third, with Courtbrook fourth, and Anderley Ebb Crescent with Emotional as they get over that ditch. And him and Oakway just starting to struggle at the back and getting a little bit more detached as they get over number nine. Templar Knight is in the lead from Gariba second, just been eased back that one. Lucky giving it a bit of a mid race breather with seven furlongs or so still to go. Templar Knight's been in the lead pretty much all the way. Gariba is in second. Nutty Bond's now moved into third, then San Pedro and need a tonic going around the outside. Courtbrook is next. Emotional under a bit of pressure, so to he's under the M Crescent. I think we can forget about him and Oakway. Templar Knight comes into this next one in the lead. Really good jump though there by Courtbrook. I've seen him sweep through to take it up. And it's Courtbrook who takes it up at this ditch. Courtbrook and he's in the lead now from Templar Knight who's trying to fight back. Then comes Nita Tonic and Gariba. Over the 13th they go. And Courtbrook again jumped into the lead. Just two more fences to take then now. And Courtbrook and Templar Knight having a bit of a ding dong. Then comes Nita Tonic and Nutty Bun. San Pedro and after that one. Gariba was caught a bit flat footy when they started to speed up. And the M. Crescent and Emotional haven't got going at all yet. They're in the straight now. There's only three furlongs to go and two fences to get over. And Templar Knight has kicked on again. It's Templar Knight who suddenly finds himself four or five clear and he's not stopping. He's pulling away now. And moving into second is Nutty Bond. Courtbrook is trying to battle on. So too is San Pedro. There's only one more fence to take. It looks like Templar Knight might only have to jump it. But he's starting to slow up. They come into this final fence. Templar Knight, the jockey's pushing him along. This is the final fence. He gets over it nicely. Courtbrook's over it in second. And Templar Knight with a furlong to go he's still well clear and I don't think they're going to get to him he's just beginning to tie up just a little bit but he's still well clear and up towards the line a pretty impressive performance from Templar Knight who takes it second is going to be close Courtbrook and San Pedro and Nutty one need a tonic and Gariba emotional didn't get going today at all and Emma Oakway round in his own time and Daniel French has got a few good ones this season and that's one of them 
Tim Blair Knight took that pretty comfortably. San Pedro in a second for Vinnie Gerard. Corbrook was third for John Morgan. Nutty Bon was fourth for Craig Beckwith, who also took fifth with Nita Tonic. That's day one. Finally in the book. And we're back with day two soon.